Good afternoon, friends. This is Jeremy Wellborn. I'm out here in the driveway with my 2020 Corvette. And what I want to take a look at today is the front trunk mechanism that holds the, uh, of course, holds the lid down and see what happens when we put it in to drive. If it's been uh, manually released already, what happens when I try to drive it in that condition? So I've now hit that twice. It is fully released. It hit the mechanism twice to release it. The trunk is released. I can lift it up. So let's get in the car and let's see what happens when we attempt to drive off with it in the released position. Start the car up, shut the door. Of course, I've got a clear indication that my hood is open. And it's open and I've got an 82 mile an hour top speed uh, showing there. Put it in drive. Still shows that the hood's open. And can I drive with it open? Yep, and I've got an audible warning that the uh, hood is open. Okay, so let's go back and let's latch it down to one position and see what it says when we latch it into one position. I'm back outside the car, of course, and I've got it in the open position right here where I can open it. So what I want to do is I want to latch it down into the one click position where I cannot open it. And now let's see what the car tells me about the front trunk when I start the car up. Once again, I've got the hood open indicator. And if I put it into drive, I've got my door open, so let's go ahead and shut the door. Hood open, 82 mile an hour top speed. So whichever position it's in, whether it's one latch or two latch, it's gonna show you that the hood's open top speed 82 miles an hour. The next thing I want to do is close it and have it in drive and see if I can release it or not. So that's the next step. Once again, out here in front of the car, hood's in open position right now, one latch. We're going to go ahead and securely close it all the way down. Start the car. So I do have it in drive. I'm going to use the fob to release the front hatch. We would hit it twice, and I'm getting absolutely nothing. It is not, even in drive, it's not letting me release the front hatch by hitting it twice. If I drive, and now we're going eight miles an hour, it will not allow me to release it either. So regardless of whether you're in motion or not, with the fob, you cannot, in drive, you cannot release the front hatch. I'm going to assume it's the same in reverse. Hit the front hatch buttons, not working. So in reverse as well, you cannot release the front hatch when the car is in gear. All right, so here's another question. What if I have it in neutral? I'm gonna put it in manual mode first. Here we go, drive. Now we're in manual mode. No, it will not let me. I'll put it in neutral. And no, I'm using the fob. It will not let me. All right, so I thought I'd try just get out here on this uh, road real quick and go ahead and try to unlatch the front trunk while I'm driving. Hit the fob button. I get nothing. I'm trying to unlock the front trunk, hit it twice, I get nothing. Hold it down, I get nothing. So an accidental pressing of the fob button in your pocket is not going to unlock that front trunk and release the latch. Put it in park now. Of course the car's running, so I should be able to hit this fob twice. Yep, 
and it releases my hood completely. I had to be in park for it to do that. One last test that I want to show you guys. The last thing I wanted to do was to test whether I could release it manually from this manual release while I'm driving, but I don't see any way that you could even do that. Can you guys see the little manual pull right here? Look at the manual pull. Man, I gotta really pull that hard to release the front trunk mechanism there. So that's down here by your pedals. It's that little ring and it's kind of tucked up in there. So I don't know how you could trigger it, um, you know, without intentionally pulling it. So as we've done this little test out here and taking a look at the potential for releasing the trunk mech, the front trunk mechanism, um, while you're in your car, I don't know how you would do that unless it was already released before you took off. And then you've got your warning indicator. So um, I just hope my trunk never comes open while I'm driving. I don't think it will. I've got 2,200 miles on the car and not had any problem with that at all. I don't see how an accidental fob activation of the front trunk mechanism could happen while you're driving uh, without there being another issue. So, hope that's helpful, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the drive.